What's up guys, my name's Collins Newey. Post Up is my stream and I'm thrilled to be bringing you guys the 2024 US Open Championships out of Griff's Bar and Billiards. We're gonna be bringing you US Open 10 ball, US Open 8 ball, US Open bank pool, and US Open one pocket straight through every day till March 16th. We're bringing it to you live from Griff's Bar and Billiards right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, I just wanna let you guys know, I don't treat my stream like a typical pool stream. I don't treat it like that sports broadcast model. I treat it like I'm hanging out with you guys at home in the chat, super interactive, fun, lighthearted. We get down and we have a good time. The best part is, if you don't like that style, you can just hit the mute button and enjoy some of the best pool in the world. It's basically a who's who of the best players from around the world. Either way, come check it out and let's have some fun. Okay, so I'm excited for this match. FSR just beat Mario He. Bader Alawadi just beat Alvin Ocean. And Bader beat Alvin 8-0 in about 35-40 minutes. That break looks awesome, but he gets kissed into the corner. Not a great way to start out, especially since the spread on these balls is fantastic. Yikes. Gideon F, what do you mean you need to zoom in? A uh, little clarification there, buddy. Call Dr. Dave, I would love that. I had him I had him next to me on a mic at the BEF Junior National Championships last June for about 20 minutes, but he was a busy, busy, busy guy because they were having a uh, 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 an instructor convention that he was quite busy with. So, yeah, not a good time to scratch on the break from Bader, especially when you just won the lag, and FSR is almost certainly going to respond with a similar break after he dispatches of these balls in record time. Ooh, Toxics. Toxis 8-Ball asks. Well, first, huge shout out to Stephen Hugh and Adam Stickles for the Venmo coming my way. Thank you guys so much. And another shout out, guys, sending too much money. This is ridiculous. Uh, Rick W. Mount Q. I can't see the whole name. Thank you for the $20 super chat. First ever super chat in the live stream for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So... Uh, what got you into streaming? Where did you learn what was needed? Uh, a guy named Aaron Taylor in Sacramento, California, started streaming during COVID, streaming matches out of his pool hall. Or sorry, out of his house that he had just purchased a, a beautiful gold crown for. I believe it was gold crown four, maybe gold crown five. Um, I was doing streaming matches from his house during COVID because no one could go out and play pool, and he was trying to share some with the world. Uh, or at least the locals, really. It was just the locals he was trying to share with. But um, he ended up reaching out to me to see if I wanted to help him out on the mic at all. And uh, I didn't know if people would like it. He didn't know, but it didn't really matter because we just were having fun together. And uh, I enjoyed it. And people seemed to respond fairly well, at least. Uh, it was a different style stream. It was just that more uh, traditional like sports broadcast style stream, like very very uh uh by the game you know what i mean but then he ended up deciding not to continue streaming after uh streaming a big event at hard times because he 
found between his job and, and all the work he was doing on the stream. It was just a little bit uh, much for his personal lifestyle. So uh, I ended up... Oscar and I got into conversations pretty quick after that, and uh, the rest is history. Just slowly built it up over time. Start really small. Where did you get this, the... Where did you learn what was needed? YouTube. It's it's you just piece it together. You build slowly over time. Toxis, go back and watch my first stream ever, and you'll see what I mean. It's not even recognizable. So anyway, back to the game. I, I really appreciate that question because not because I not because I'm concerned with sharing my story, but more to try to help other people see that if you want to do something, you just build it piece by piece. The cool thing about a live stream is whatever you built for the previous stream or for a, a stream that you do one day will be there the next day, so it can only improve. So if it's not perfect right out the gate, it doesn't matter because it's going to get better over time as long as you put in the energy and, and have like some of like vision to try to create something different. So anyway, yeah, FSR with a really nice break, trying to piece piece together the puzzle of these stripes the nine ball passes in the bottom right corner fifth or 13 doesn't have a pocket so he's rolling to the nine right now to try to open this up because he can use the 11 as insurance if the 13 could go in the side this is really good because he can stop the cue ball with the two and use the 11 as a key ball and that's clearly what the case is so this rack is over Yeah, yeah, Trail, I will end up doing a live stream when I get back home to kind of do like a, a q and A. I'll schedule it, so um, be on the lookout. And, and if you're a streamer or you know a streamer or if you know somebody who might want to get into it, you can, once I announce the date, you can share it with your friends so that we can all kind of you know, get all the, the Q&A stuff out of the way and then that way I can always just reference it when people have questions go check out that video you know what i mean uh vader already in a tough spot because francisco after those two runouts is looking unstoppable uh, after that break and scratching on the break and then just instantly being down two to zero Got to make sure you control this one really well. Cue ball gets kissed into the corner again. No way. The same corner. What is going on? No way. Francisco can't believe it either. Sorry if I yelled in your ears, but that was crazy. Twice in a row, you win the lag and your, your two breaks... You get kissed in the corner. He squatted the rock great both times. Look at him. He's in complete and utter disbelief. So sick, dude. This game is so sick. Sorry if you could hear that from the other side of the room, man, but... Could you hear that out there? Yeah, a little bit, but it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Vader just got kicked in the corner. He's broken twice. Squatted the rock twice and got blasted into the corner pocket twice. So chilly. Real bad. Yeah. 
unbelievable. Starting on Windows Open here in just a second, it's Filler versus Beato. Moore is about to start his match with Roland Garcia, Shane and Jason Clapp, Corey and Max Lechner. There's just great matches all over the place. That's about how it feels right there. That is about how it feels. I'm going to try to pull up both of those replays so you can compare the breaks. Actually, I'm going to get fancy here. Oh, that's so sick. I'm not going to get fancy. I don't have enough time. But, but here's the first one. Here's the first one. Wait, FSR shooting, sorry. Getting ahead of myself. Okay, first one. Big pop. Stops the rock and just, just, Mike, look. Look at the seven ball. Hold on. You looked away. Look at the seven ball. Bam, oh, just straight in the corner. Right? That's pretty cold, yeah. Okay, and then watch the next one. A little concession of the game there. I'll update the score after this break. Look at this. And then, boom, the 10 on the other side. Wow. How... Same exact result, but the that. other way. All you can do is laugh, man. That is that is highly unlikely. Yeah, I'm actually going to try to set up like a... So you can watch them at the same time. Actually, I can't set it up. I, there's no way for me to set it up. Never mind. Not on the fly. Wow. And then FSR to break again. By the way, Francisco, after the first one, runs out. Breaks and runs the next rack. And then that happens again. And he runs out and FSR to break. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to pool. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, that's... No, it's just it can be a little. It, it can, can be, it yeah. can be tough. All right, Solid's looking a little clustered up at certain spots of the table. 11 is a little tough, but the combo is there. I think he's going to take stripes here, Collins. Yeah, I like the stripes. Yeah. Where can we watch SVB? He's on a secondary table. Must be planning to. I like it using the 15 ball. You can come around, play it like a one pocket shot, and play it in the same hole. You know, when you on, when whenever you get to the 15. Or you could shoot the eight in the side. Yeah, yeah, that's probably more likely actually. Me and Mike are going to bed early tonight, guys. 
That just sounded weird. Queen, big queen. Wake up! You, he played your shot. He played your shot. On the 15. Yeah, I mean, laid good. It laid good. SVB is not on the winner's side. No, SVB is one lost side. Working his way back. So, here we go. Break number three. If this happens a third time in a row, Bader's never going to play with a, a template rack again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because it's the same exact kick, but from the opposite side of the table. Who's all, who's the little, no, no, actually, I'm dead serious. You can ask Amanda. I do enjoy being the little spoon occasionally. So it's not only on Mike. Not surprised. <laughs> not surprised hearing that. Uh, I hope she's watching right now. No, she's probably working. She's been watching more of this stream than she has of any other live stream in her entire life. Going to bed early with your shorts on. <laughs> All right, you got to get a little lucky, got to get some opportunities, but you got to hold serve, yeah. more importantly, if you're Bader. And Zach Robinson pointing out FSR perfect through four racks. That 10 tried to get him. The, the second balls both go in the side pockets. Is everything going to stay open? He's good. Salas look good. One ball goes. Yeah. Salas a little reprieve, ball. but unfortunately, with mm -hmm. FSR playing perfect, Bader's going to need him to make a mistake, even if Bader plays perfect from this point. Hang on, I got to go watch a call. Yeah. Next Collins is going to say he sleeps with his socks on. I'm not a psychopath, Slim. Good lord. I don't sleep with my socks on. I've never taken someone's life before. <laughs> Who won the 10 ball event? Shane Van Boning. His fifth U.S. Open 10 ball title. Donald, I don't know about that. It would be interesting. It would be interesting to me to have some of them guys in my booth with me on my style of stream, but I don't think I could ever do the matchroom thing. I'm not, obviously I'm not knowledgeable enough, <laughs> but at the same time, I'd, I'd get in trouble for saying stuff, you know? <laughs> I'd get in trouble, you know? They'd, they'd be like, you can't say that. Oh, this 10 ball barely going to trickle in. Pocket speed, wow. Oh, boy, I love pull players, buddy. Let me tell you. Me too. Who goes there? Savannah. Savannah. She's, she's back. No, Mike is always looking for an excuse to not be in here. Well, take off your jacket. No, but I was so cold in there. That's why. 
We went next door to the ramen place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good. Yeah, you guys have to check out that ramen place if you ever come to Griffs. It's amazing. If you like ramen. <laughs> People talking about it. It's raining out now. Is it really? Only for a couple hours. Yeah, oh, I need my to dad check said it was supposed to today. I need to check my truck and make sure there's nothing in the bed of my truck. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let it's, me check. It's just sprinkling right now. Yeah, but, I should check it but, before it comes yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. It's let me only put a couple on hours, one. though. So far, Francisco has played a perfect set. Really? And Bader has had two breaks. Sorry, three breaks. Two of them. Yeah, yeah. He got kissed in. He made a perfect squat. Squat the rock. Mm hmm And the cue ball got kissed in. Oh. Like, straight into the corner. And then it happened on his second break, but kissed oh. in the other corner. And uh, FSR ran out those racks, and then also broken ran the racks that he was breaking. Oh. So <laughs> he's played perfect so far, and look at, look at this right here. You know, Bader... My dad told me he was watching the Bader and Elbin match. Mm -hmm. When it was 6 0, um, Elbin went to break. It got kissed in uh, the cue ball, and he just broke down his cue and shook Bader's hand. Oh. Yeah, so, I mean, oh. technically 8 0, but like. Yeah, you know. I see, I see, I see. Okay. But still, 6 0, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Alternate break, Elbin didn't think it was in the cards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, here FSR is with another opportunity to continue his I know, he got a run. perfect break. Yeah, That's crazy. Yeah, it's literally a perfect eight ball break. Okay, I'll be right back. Yep. And I do remember how to use the buttons. Okay, so Collins is just going to be back in probably a couple minutes. Oh, yeah, across the street. Across uh, Griff's, there's a really good Mexican place. Yeah, my dad loves it there. I don't really eat Mexican food though. I only really like quesadilla. Um, yeah, yeah, you guys can hear me. Okay. Which ramen place is she talk? Oh, uh, it's a, it's right. Literally, you can just walk there. It's right across, or right next door. The ramen place. It's called Ramen Boys. Probably one of the best in Vegas, honestly. Don't have to eat bar food forever, but Chris bar food is actually not too bad, so it's actually pretty good. I have a pretty wide variety of foods. Oh! No way. FSR. What? Wow. Wow, FSR. Huh. Well, he had a good break. I mean, it's not like the seven ball was a really t easy shot, especially as you're holding it for the one ball, but still. Very surprising. FSR just missed the seven ball. All right. Wow. I'm, I don't I, mean to celebrate someone's uh, misfortune, but. It was like but seven ball is here, cue ball is here, and he missed it like, it, like right there. It's it's as fun as it is to watch perfect play. <laughs> I, I prefer a compelling match. You yeah, know? So yeah, if Vader yeah. has an opportunity to, you know, fire back. And he's going to be breaking next. If he can finish this and have another good break like his last one, we're going to have a match. This is Winterside, right? Winterside, yeah. Yep. Winterside to lock up a spot tomorrow, I think. Let me see. Yeah, that's strong for Bader. To, uh, I mean, he's all, I, I've, I've always kind of watched this game. I haven't really watched it. but like. Yeah, that is confirmed. That is, it is Winterside to lock up a spot for tomorrow. In the final 12. Final, well, guaranteed 5th, 6th. So right now they're they're mm. guaranteed ninth through twelfth. Isn't this running through Saturday, right? Oh wait, actually they're already guaranteed a spot tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, they're, all, yeah. they're already guaranteed a spot tomorrow. So, but uh, we're actually going to be we're trying to get down to the final twelve tonight so we can do the finals tomorrow evening, not super oh. late. L yeah, try to get a one round ahead of what we were in the ten ball. It's looking good for Vader. Uh. It's a tough, kind of tough shape for the 12. But he's fine. Hey, Collins, how far is Vegas from home? Griff's could be a weekly streaming thing. No, it couldn't. Griff's is t uh, 10 hours away. Oh, yeah, for driving, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Collins has a whole U-Haul truck. <laughs> well, no, I have a I have just a, a six semi. foot. semi. No, I don't. What? No, I have a, a uh, truck. Yeah, just a truck with a six-foot bed and a lumber. But you rack. had a semi too. No, I don't. Oh, oh no, no, no! That was <laughs> that was you're someone thinking, else. You're thinking about Ray. Uh, I'm thinking about someone else. Big truck. 
But still, I don't know how this all fits in the your truck. I take all the walls apart. It all yeah, apart. yeah. Yeah. Fader gets out and braking. Let's see how the brake goes. Yep. I want to know what happened to Al Omar Al Shaheen. I don't know. Haven't heard much from him since the U.S. Open last year. I saw him at the U.S. Open last year. Oh, Omar. Yes, yes. Omar Al Shaheen. Good yeah. player. Yeah. I haven't seen him play anything. Who's the girl? Oh, it's uh, Savannah Easton, the Roadrunner. Who's Savannah? Huh? Who's Savannah? Me, <laughs> me. Griff says 568 miles from hard times. Well, that is very Sounds specific. About right. Sounds about right. 602? What does 602 mean? <laughs> I thought it was a 605. No, it went down one point because of the yesterday. Because I played pretty bad. Or not yesterday, the other day for 10 ball. FSR, just, just look at him itching to get back to the table. Yeah, I know. I see, see that. that? The yeah. intensity. I played Yap in the 10 bowl. I lost 8 2, right? Which is kind of expected, you know. He's at like 8 20. And somehow He's, my Fargo went down one point. He is like, a what, Yap. What the heck? I guess I was expected to get three games in the system or something. Yeah. Whoa, nice. Ooh. Little break, except for the cluster in the middle of the table. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty tough rack, kind of. I mean, he can. Let's say he takes solids here, which looks a little bit better. The better route to take. He can. That six ball, he can break it out. The seven. If he does take solids, he could use a six and just break out the seven. The only thing is, you have to play shape for another solid. So, yeah, maybe. Mm. Kind of a tricky rack here. Uh, depending on how you get shape on one of the balls. If he takes stripes. And let's say he breaks out the stripes. Um, he has two more. Uh, one more ball more. You could stop the rock right here. Pull it back just a hair and try to get right on the 10. Yeah, that's what he's looking at right now. And you have insurance with the 11. And the uh, other stripes up table, right? So if you if you do succeed in drawing the ball back to this point, like exactly, then you probably run out. But if you don't, then you have the option to use one of those balls as insurance to put yourself in a position to control the rack. What Colin said. I think that's what he's going to go for. I didn't know that. The other option, the other option the is stripes. Goes? Well, the other option is stripes to play the six ball to break these out. If you go with, I mean, solid. Sorry. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing. Yeah, it looks like he's just gonna up take to go. the kind of the tough shot. But I mean, the two here. ball, the two balls there. Yeah, I know. The two balls there, just in case he just doesn't want to be on the bottom rail. But yeah, it looks like he's gonna hit the ten ball what? when he breaks it up. Eight and ten. I don't like using the two to break these out because the six is right here and needs to go in this pocket. And so if you use the two to come across, you're, you're sending balls in that direction and potentially creating problems for yourself. Someone said the stream is really blurry. Yeah, that's that's because their yeah, their video in. settings are wrong. Uh. Uh, I haven't really played that much eight ball. I play mostly rotation. If you're going with this shot, you better be going a million miles an hour and hope you don't scratch. Oh, wow. He's playing that shot. Yeah. Oh, oh the rack got And into. the eight almost went in the side pocket. Did I know. That? Yeah, I, At I least, think he's in the six is a little bit. Yeah, I think he just didn't want to go for the tough shot on the six. The tough cut on the six. Yeah, because it. Does he have an angle here? Imagine he has an angle. Uh, I don't think he does. Imagine he has an angle to bust this seven out right now. If he if he had made the even if he broke it out and and used the six ball I mean if he missed the six ball he's oh uh eh, he tied up the nine to ten more got a tiny bit lucky there unless he played that but uh, I haven't really played that. 
Not bad. Uh... Brian Lafleur, you're the only person that can fix your YouTube screen. You have to stream. You have to. Uh, you have to do this when you're watching. When you're watching, go down to the little gear, either at the bottom of your screen on a computer or at the top of your screen, and then go to quality and set it to 1080p. FSR doesn't really have that many options here. What Q am I using? I'm using a Lucasi Q with a fuse shaft. Q wood shaft. Yeah. I'm just waiting and I'm waiting for the chat right now. Watch the song that's playing right now. Where's Stephanie Paul when you need her? Can I have one? Yeah. Why do they let five-year-old kids into the booth to do commentary? Because she well, could probably give you the eight ball. <laughs> and she's 14. I'm five. I'm five <laughs> now. Well. There's Jessica. Freedom! <laughs> this song is becoming a meme in the post-up <laughs> chat. I love it. Did FSR sell out there? I guess he did. Uh, back salad front blunt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, they're doing fine, Gerard. They're all right. I like messing with them, too. It's fun. We're all just having fun. Yeah, exactly. The five-year-old beat a 717 Fargo yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Mm. How'd that feel? I didn't know he was a 717, honestly. Okay. <laughs> Which is probably better. Sometimes when I play those higher Fargo people, I put too much pressure on myself. Yeah. And here you go. He does figure out a way to get out. Yep. Well, Vader's making a comeback. See, now the camera's blurry. Whenever I zoom out here, it gets real blurry. Yeah, I see. Focus. Why can't my camera focus? There we go. Savannah, is your family... Check out that town. Is your family hosting any... Come on, baby. Players, yeah, we're hosting Josh. There we go, Max Rack. Can't take all the motion blur. I would not say I'm super skillful, but I still have a lot to learn. Don't get me wrong. She is a solid player. Adam said, I'm 479, but I play like a 480. <laughs> hey, just so you know, if you're watching on Griff's TV, I can't see the chat. I see a few of my regs in there, um, If and I see you're trying to talk to me. Just so you know. Illegal it's rock? cool to support. I think it's uh, uh, really cool to support Griff's stream. So if you'd like to support Griff's, you can watch there, but yeah. Wait, was the rack illegal? Someone said illegal rack. Maybe the wing balls. Oh, oh, Maybe yeah. Maybe they overlook the wing balls. The the stripe and solid. I don't think that applies to this tournament. Because I saw some other people. I was doing it, but I saw some other people not. So.
hey, we're gonna set up some some doubles with me, me and you, or me and Mike against you and Adrian, you guys. Oh yeah, yeah, we're stealing. Oh okay. <laughs> sure. We we are, but I mean, if you guys want to play, we'll play. What's your Fargo? Uh, five, eight, nine right now. What's Mike's? Uh, I don't know. Like. Let me see. Whoever's lower takes Adrian. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's lower. It's lower by only a few points. Yours? Our, no, his. His? Yeah, our Fargos are like dead even. Like mm. close to dead even. I don't know. Mike misses some easy shots, so I, I might take you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, honestly, if it's me and you against Ad Adrian and Mike, we're probably stealing. Hmm. <laughs> No, just, but Mike, just like totally okay, dogging okay. Mike. Mike is like, he makes some really good shots, but right after he dogs it, like right <laughs> yeah, after. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so he can That's be like. That's what I count on, baby. That's what I count on. Yeah. But he doesn't know how to smack talk, so it could get into Adrian's head. You're probably used to it, but. Uh, yeah, I smack talk all the time. Let's see. I prefer to do that. I actually probably smack talk. More than, oh, Mike, me than Mike would like to. <laughs> me too. Because he gets distracted. <laughs> People got your back. He's a 528. Everyone no, knows. No, he's not, he's not a 528. <laughs> no, you. Me? Aren't you a 528? No, no, no. no five, he's eight, a 589. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I use the... No, I forgot. My tip is a Tiger Everest, I think. I think it's just what came on the fuse, and surprisingly, I really like it, so. <laughs> Talking smack about Melina. Hey, Melina's the one who uh, stirs up everything. Exactly, you Okay, dude. Exactly. come on. Exactly. We, we gotta talk some smack with Melina sometimes. Yeah, look at this perfect spot that FSR is I in I know, right it's now. crazy. He, he literally hit perfect. everything perfect. Doesn't want to be straight here. I'm straight from. Yep, perfect. Look at the extra outside. Yeah, spin. Just I know. The it's just line. so. It's so sick. The extra left spin to fall down. Perfect. So five three FSR. Yeah. P two right? Oh no, P one. Why does it say zero? Oh, you went all the way back to the home page. Home page? We're in the US Open. Oh. Oh, there should be a Friday night fight. There should have been here. Oh, here. Uh, it would be too tough to work this three. Yeah, I know. There's so many. There's so many events. So. Uh, I do go to school, okay? Everyone says I don't go to school. I do. And it's actually a really good school. And I do have straight A's, so. Okay. Humble brag. Haha. <laughs> no, because everyone's like, oh, even if you go to school, I bet your grades aren't that good, you know, because yeah. they think. But I just go on to online school, basically. I mean, I go one day a week, but it's pretty much online school. And I'm lucky to have really good and supportive teachers. You know, my, my teachers actually wanted to come watch me play. Oh, cool. <laughs> but that would be awkward. Does you were you were a kid once. You would know. Oh, yeah. Does anybody know, anybody know the score of SVB's match? You can check out all the live scoring on digitalpool.com. The link is in the video description below the video on YouTube, above the video on Facebook. Uh, currently, SVB is up 3-2 to two on Jason Klatt. Roland Garcia up 3-1 to one on Jason Mora. Skyler Woodward just now getting started with Ivan Belmont. Belmonte. Did you say Jason Mora? Did I say Jason Mora? <laughs> yeah. 
John Moore, I, that's the lack of sleep. <laughs> that's funny. That is lack of sleep right there. Just, I'm having way too much fun out here. Uh, Josh Kondo down 5-1 to one versus Alvin Ocean. So Alvin looking pretty solid in that one. John Salim is currently down 3-2 to two versus Mario He. And Max Lechner versus Corey Duell sitting at 4-2 to two in favor of Max Lechner. Oh, wow. Oh, Tony's not on the one or something. Simon Curall sends John Mora to the one-loss side. I saw that. Wow. that was, he's a he's pretty young, isn't he? He's like, yeah. Or he looks young, at least. It's a mild upset right there. Not not by much. Yeah, yeah. No, he's a good player. I saw he's him He's a really play. good player. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's pretty young. I mean, he looks like he's only like 19 or 20, but I don't know. When are we getting Corey in the booth? Oh man, that would be so fun. <laughs> well, because he's like a his brain works. Yeah, different, he's you like know? a really heady guy. Like yeah, he, yeah. he just thinks a lot, and so no, and I know. I'm, I'm kind of. He's the one. He's probably one of the most creative players ever. I I overthink stuff all the time, so it would be nice to pick his brain. You know. Oh yeah, Lee Van Cort. He's a he's a beast. He's one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. Did you see that snooker, the golden bowl thing? Yeah. Half a million. That's crazy. Yeah. Half a million. I mean, I mean, it's like probably once in a lifetime you'll get the, that, but like still. I know it was pretty big because I saw, uh, I saw it all over my For You page and I was like, why is there snooker on my For You page? Because there's never really snooker. about the computer stephanie oh that's funny i was selling my my old school computer i guess stephanie's the one who bought it oh okay yeah yeah nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> wow i'm actually oh Ooh. boy i was gonna say i'm surprised that yeah that he made the ball because that's a tough shot that yeah. he was trying to do uh like next level tough and uh was that a solid or stripe? I didn't see. Yeah, that. it was a stripe. So he runs into the the solids and stops the cue ball just in time to have a look at this twelve ball. Yeah. I mean, everything looks. It might be a little like touchy, everything, but twelve, eleven, thirteen, ten. But the fifteen. I think, you, I think you'd want to take care of the ten. The ten. The ten is sooner, like. Yeah, you? it has too much angle. It's gonna go into there. Yeah, he's going to 13. That's actually smarter. Yeah, 13 now because yeah. you can try and lay up for the 15 right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Try to lay up for the 15 right now. Then when you bump the 10 out, you have insurance with the 11 ball. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Still not easy, but it's there. He's looking at the 10. Ooh, yeah, he could do 13, 10. And bump out the 15 and then the 11 there. Because the 15 will go down there. Yeah. See, there's just so many options you can do in April. You can't shoot the 11 here. You need it there for insurance. What? Huh? You can't shoot the 11 right now. No, no, not right now. No, no I know he just 13. looked at it. Oh, oh, yeah. No, uh, unless the six, he can't. He's shoot gonna the... do it, and he's gonna, he's gonna. I don't think the six. I think the six might be blocking thirteen, maybe. I don't know. This is. Uh... He's gonna show me how to do it while making the eleven first, but I wouldn't recommend. Oh, doing he's that. going to ten into the corner, but still. Hmm. This is just a lower percentage out, I would think. He's going to try to draw into the 15 to pull it out and then use the 13 as insurance. He might do what he did last time and hit... Oh, 
Oh, and yeah. it gets tied up. See, this is like... I feel like there were... Whoa. A little glitchy right there. The, yeah, there were just other options there, I think. Yeah, yeah. And obviously... Obviously, I can't hold a candle to this guy, but... Yeah, no, no. The discussion is still... I, I mean... I think there. Good shot on the, on the yeah. combo. I mean, when you're on the table, I guess you see things different, you know, and especially when you're not like sitting and watching. Yeah. You know, you see. You're in the moment. You're like. Yeah, that's. Like, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I get mad at my dad. He's like, "You should have done this," and I'm like, "You try. You try yeah. to do it. It's so hard." But everything just looks different on the table sometimes. I tend to miss, uh, not saying Bader would, but I tend to sometimes miss the side pocket shots because I'm too worried about the shape sometimes, mm -hmm. depending on how it is. Well, looks like it's going to be 5-4. Nice out by Gator. Is this the US Open? This one? Yep. Brent, it's not necessarily thinking you were smarter, but he may, Fargo is more of execution, you know, when you're, like, knowledge is different in Fargo. Fargo can't tell how much knowledge you have, because some people, they, they have a lot of knowledge, but they just can't execute it because they don't have enough time to practice or whatever. Yep. That's why some of those 800s and 700s, there's only very few of 800s because not everyone can have the play playability and the knowledge. It's very, very rare. <laughs> Ian Welch just realizing the reality of the post-up chat. <laughs> That's why I love it. That's why I love it. I am 14. 15. Ooh, I got to make a post-up chat t-shirt. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm here. I watch post-up for the chat or something oh my like gosh. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. I'll come up with something. Man, you guys keep saying 15. You're adding another year on me. I'm not old yet. I'm not old. <laughs> yeah, you guys are adding years on me. I think FSR just broke. Has a pretty good layout here. Everything seems to be open. Got Fifteen is so old. <laughs> Fifteen is old for me. Mm, let's see. He got kind of in between of where he wanted. I mean, I'm sure he's still fine. Of course he's fine. He's FSR. But I think he was trying to get a little straighter on the five 
are the one. So he's solids right now. Sorry, I've only been reading the chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's solids. Yeah. Buy autos four two on filler. Oh yeah, don't they play? That's a good match too. So many good matches going on right now. That's happening on the uh, Windows Open Stream and Carla Beato's Facebook or YouTube page. Oh, I didn't even read the chat. They're telling me to switch to Snooker. What? No chance. Sorry. I think. Boring. Yeah, I'm good on pool. <laughs> yes, I do know Snooker is, has more money in it, but. Let's just say I'm not as good in Snooker. Actually, I've never tried Snooker. I've always wanted to, though. You know, it's a really fun game I didn't think I would like was Chinese 8-Ball. Or Hay Ball, they call it. That is a really fun game. I'm so sad they don't have any tournaments in America. But They had one table at the International Open. It was so fun. I love Chinese 8-Ball. He'll probably shoot the 7 here, just because he doesn't want to be jacked up above the 3. I mean, ab above the 13 to shoot the 3. <laughs> I identify with a Fargo 800 in post-up chat. Yeah, good. Yeah, I bet a lot of you are 800s in the post-up chat. Oh, sh shots fired! <laughs> No, I've seen some of these comments. They're brutal. I know. Oh, but it's funny though. Yeah, it's man. funny. Yeah. It's what keeps. It's kind of what keeps the conversation in the post-up commentary. Yeah, yeah. FSR. <laughs> FSR coming with a couple of really nice cue ball positional shots there, and and uh, I wonder if he's going to slide above the three right now. He's got a bit of an angle here. Oh, he's looking at shooting the three down in the bottom left corner and really? trying to get a, a good angle on the five. Did he not have angle on the five? I he's got he too much angle on the five. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. I mean, yeah, he's no problem yeah, shooting it in the corner, you yeah, know. Awesome. Looking good for FSR to take a 6-4 lead. What nice Fargo shot. would you give the entire post up chat? You start, Collins. Uh. 482. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Fargo 900? Holy. In your dreams. Man, you guys have <laughs> a lot of self pride. I'll give you guys a solid ooh, Something. seven seven eighty nine. <laughs> so you're three hundred points over Collins. Yeah, you guys are a seven eighty nine. What nationality am I? Uh, how do I say this? Well, my mom is Chinese, so I am half Chinese. A lot of you guys think she's Filipino. Actually, almost everyone thinks she's Filipino. What she does look Filipino, but she is Chinese. It's kind of in a weird spot. I mean... I know, I know, Bader, both of them can make this eight ball with no problem and get shape for it, but let's see. So, 
Honestly, I... Yeah, solids looks good here. Just because of where the 9 is. And the 5 is kind of blocking the, the 9 ball. And, and the 11 ball. So solids looks pretty promising here. And it looks like a clear out here. Let's see, so shoot this two ball. That looks like Bader's doing. And then he can either play the one or the five, depending on what he gets. So he'll probably play one here, maybe. I like the five first, personally. Yeah, I, like the five. Just, I mean, unless the four goes. If the four goes, then everything then is easy. Matter. Yeah, yeah. Then you're just playing into zones. You're not playing any patterns. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really matter, but he might. Yeah, I think the four might go here. Yeah, he just played into this zone like it's a drill. Yeah, so everything looks good here. Like a short position four, drill. Four, five, three. No. This, let's say he's shooting the six ball. Oh. Oh, he's not putting the five yet. Oh. You got to go back and forth. You go back and forth. You pick them off back and forth. You go three, five, six, really? eight. Three, five, six, eight. He's going six. Really? I thought the six was perfect. Game. No, actually the three ball is a good angle too. They're both the same. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, if, if you, you're if, if you you're underneath even. the six here and stunning the cue ball to the to the eight, or if you're whoa, above. that was a perfectly straight line. Or if Did you're, you see that? Okay, sorry. If you're above the three and following to the eight, then. That's crazy! You literally did the straightest line I've ever like seen. That? What? How do you do that? I don't know how you do it so straight. <laughs> Ooh. Has a really good angle here to play to get the cue ball straight for the eight. Perfect. Looks like Bader's gonna come back a little bit. I, I shouldn't say come back. Ooh. Oh, oh, squeeze that in. Yeah. No, he was not. Start that a was break. A very nice break by Bader. Here's a nice little look at the town max rack. Template rack. I think they're very new, right? They just they're came out. Yeah, yeah it's they a just brand new product. They just came out like a couple weeks ago, I think. SVB is playing now versus Jason. Wait, is SVB down 4 3? What are my plans in the future? I don't know, man. I'm 14. But hopefully, <laughs> I'll go to college. I, I do want to go to college. Oh, I do want to study to be an architect, though. That's. Yeah. dinging at me. Oof. Hey guys, after this match, I'm going to do a quick little stream reboot, just a fair warning. Fair warning. Man, all, every single one of their breaks has pretty much been open. Almost yeah. all of them. Well, they've been playing with the template in these conditions for two yeah, days yeah. now, so they've probably got things pretty dialed. Yeah. No, um, it's not like I'm going to be an architect full-time. I'm not going to quit pool. 
I just want that as like a, a sure job because I don't think I can make a living off pool, honestly. Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna quit pool f to be an architect. I better have a backup plan because my math, my math is not doing too good right now. <laughs> I know architecture, you need to be very good at math. You'll figure it out. Yeah, I don't know. I'm only 14, so I'm just playing it by, you know. Play it by ear. Yeah. John Mora down five to three versus Roland Garcia. Thank you, uh, Helka. Is that how you say your name? I'm sorry. I'm only 14. I can't read. <laughs> I'm just a <laughs> child. No, I can read. I can read. But I'm just a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that three ball goes. Oh, I guess the three ball goes past the four. Mm. Okay. Muy interesante. <laughs> now I know every time I'm hot, just come into the post it booth. You mean if you're cold? I mean cold, yeah, yeah. cold. <laughs> FSR looking good to take it to the hill. There's almost nothing to commentate here. He, yeah, they're just running out. Yeah, it's just <laughs> wide open racks. Yeah, I know, and just perfect play. I do have a table in my house. <laughs> it's a gold crown one. Carlos Lopez says, can you zoom in a little bit, please? Yeah, yeah I saw it. You know what, I'll zoom in. Oh no, it's gonna be like super zoom. <laughs> Where do you want it, Carlos? <laughs> Where do you want it? How about how about right there? There you go. Just there's the back of Bader's head. <laughs> Wait, that's the back of It was. Ah. Uh. Matrim I, th zoom I, I actually know the specs of the cameras that they use. Uh, I've actually seen their setup. And uh, they definitely can, but they're just not stupid enough to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, the good thing about Colin's stream is he actually interacts with the people. Hey, it's just a different style. Yeah. Different style. I'll Thoughts on more. pattern racking an attorney like this? No pattern racking. Yeah, I haven't really seen any pattern racking. Not an eight ball, no. Yeah. I mean, the one guy that would do it. There's no point, too. I mean, well, there's really... There's the, Corey, mean, Corey, Corey came up with a pattern rack that he was using for eight ball. Really? Not, not this tournament, but oh, years okay. ago. Years ago, he had a pattern that he would use before people realized what he was doing, mm -hmm. where he'd break the balls... And, like, all the solids would be, like, down here, like, clustered up. Yeah. And the stripes would all be up here spread out. <laughs> yeah. Even though some of the stuff Corey did was a little, um, how should I say it, uh, outside the rule book, he, w he did have a really big brain for stuff like that. Very creative. Can we get freedom in more of a rotation, please? Oh, I've heard, I've so, seen so much, of, so many comments like that. <laughs> they, they like the song. Oh. Freedom! <laughs> uh, dude, this is this is my favorite song actually, on this on this playlist. The it's one got playing right now? the one that's playing right now. It's got such a like tight groove and like. Uh, the synth is really cool. The chord changes are really interesting. And then when it changes into the bridge, it's got a nice, uh, like, change in syncopation. It's, like, really cool. We'll turn it up. Sure. Mm. 
I know it's, it's good for like non-copyright music. We, yeah. my mom, has been like finding a lot of, you know, she's trying to do the same thing you're doing. Right, like, right, you right. Know. So you don't have to deal with yeah, copyright yeah, issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With copyright and you know, it's kind of hard watching a match in silence. Yeah. Well. So, so we can't find one song that sounds good. Some people in the chat, there's some people that will like the only thing that they ever comment is something to the to the effect of like why is there music playing i'd rather yeah. it be silent yeah, it's yeah. like okay boring no i mean we kind of listen to the more majority of people we don't if there's only yeah. one person saying yeah, it then exactly. you know exactly. can't make everyone happy yeah but yeah shout out to my mom she's worked very hard on my stream because yeah. she she literally spent like four hours just trying to figure out my stream like That's how awesome. how to make it you know that starting soon and yeah, break time yeah, you know yeah. all that stuff and takes time takes yeah time. so make sure it will only think. get better too yeah fsr yeah. trying to figure out how to run out on the hill here yeah i know He's got a real nice spread. It's it's I kind mean, of a technical uh, positional thing, though, I think. It's looking good. Tight position as you move up table. Uh, 11 ball also doesn't have a pocket past the 5. So he's. I think he's still deciding whether he wants to shoot stripes or solids. No, he already shot it. He already oh. shot the shoot. Oh, he did. I think it was solids. Did he? No. Is he solids? He's in trouble if he's in solids. No, he's I don't solid, know if he's solid. I forgot. But I saw him shoot a ball, and then it, he made it off another ball. He called gotcha. the pocket, gotcha. yeah. Gotcha. I, I don't know if it was solids or stripes. I thought it was solids, but I don't see why he would stripes. leave the 15 Stripes. Chat says stripes. It was stripes? Okay. Oh, then he's in a... Other than the 11 ball. But yeah, the 11 ball, he's trying to go out right now. Perfect. Oh, look at this. Uh, oh, that's so sick. That's what I was about to say. That's oh. crazy. Just the perfect speed on the 11 ball. <laughs> I oh know. Oh, my God. Oh, did Bader break? Oh, he broke dry, did he? Oh. Looking good for FSR. Yeah, everything's wide open now that he dealt with that 11. Yeah, he might he might shoot the 11 now. He might have too much angle on the 9, but I don't know. He might just hold the shoot the 9 and hold it for the 12. I mean, the 9's literally sitting perfect to get shape on the 12. Who does the loser of this or winner of the match play? This match play. Do you know, Collins? Tomorrow they play the winner between Carlo Biato and Josh Filler. Ooh, that's that's another good match. And that is five to four right now on table thirteen. Yep, that's a really good match. Whoever wins this match, that's a really good match with uh, Carlo or Josh. Yeah, I think FSR is just deciding if he's going to shoot the 9 or the 13. Yeah, I think he's just deciding if he really just wants to hold it for the 12. And he hit it perfect. He didn't has, have as much angles as I thought. Well, it's looking like FSR is going to take this get, uh, match. Wow, Still, look at that cue ball. I know, it's crazy. The fact that they have such speed control doing that shot. Well, Bader put up a good fight, though. Yeah, especially I mean, considering how things started out. Yeah. Yeah, real good match. 
So we can slide over. If you want to watch this match, the winner that... Uh, sorry, FSR will be playing the winner of this match, which is a hell of a matchup tomorrow. Who's that? Uh, oh, oh, Carlo, Carlo. Beato yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, Joshua Filler. Um, I'm going to stick you guys right here for a minute. And then we're going to be doing a stream reboot shortly, okay, guys? The mic's still on, right? Oh, she was just asking. <laughs> A stand-up comedian? Yeah. Hey, why? Well, ar an architect is more of a secure job. But... We'll see how it plays out. <laughs> 